Basically, everybody's prepackaged with demons. Some people are prepackaged with self righteous demons, um, demons that cause people to believe they're so holy and righteous and pure and loving and they know God, but they are deceivers. They deceive people. Some people really do know God and they are righteous and they are holy because they've been, um, they've met Christ. But in general, a lot of people are born with demons and the demons have to decide how they're going to steer this person or try to steer this person. If they're in a position where it'd be easier to steer them in the way of self-righteousness and being a good person without really knowing Christ, they'll, they'll, then they'll go that direction. If they're going to go in the direction of self-destruction, make turn this person into a complete maniac, they'll go that way. If they can go in the way of isolation and depression and anxiety, they'll go that way. However they can, they'll go. And they've been doing this for years. For thousands of years, they dwelt in the presence of God in heaven. Lucifer was second to God. He was always beholding his glory. He learned from him. So eventually he saw that he was so beautiful and he wanted, wanted to exalt his throne above God's. And he was humbled and here he is on the earth taking back his revenge on against God but uh, it's all planned God knew it was all gonna happen so these demons are in us and our goal is to get them out of us for to be set free delivered from the works of the devil Christ came to undo the works of the devil and to get these demons out of us we need to know first that they exist we need to need to know how they operate and we need to have the power of Christ. We need to have the presence of Christ in our lives to, to expel these demons. These demons are living in you. You are their home. They have to live inside of another being to feel comfortable. Some of them are real cozy. They have a big, huge mansion inside of your soul. They've been running things with their, sitting on the couch with their feet up, comfortable for years. They've been planting thoughts into your mind making you think they're your thoughts, they've been giving you their emotions. They've basically been playing you like a puppet, you know? So we gotta be aware of this. A lot of, basically, your character is majorly influenced by demons. You're not even you. You need to reclaim your independence from these demons and take back who you are and become original rather than being trained and raised up by these demons as your spiritual parents. Christ wants to set you free and he wants to be your spiritual shepherd. So uh, when you start to recognize these demons, they start to and want to threaten their, their existence in you, they're gonna be intimidated. They're gonna intimidate you. They're gonna feel threatened and they're gonna say, I don't wanna lose my house. But you know what? They're going to lose their house because Christ is going to guide you into freedom and liberty, as he promised, if you're his child. So they might try to flare up and intimidate you if you're trying to scare them, but they're just mouse. They're just a mouse, not a lion. And you can overcome them. There are some tests and trials and temptations that you have to overcome and resist, and they will leave. A lot of it as I've been told, is an experienced is control of the mouth. Because words are spirit. When you speak words into existence, you send demons or angels on missions. You know? You affect people's soul by what you say. So, be aware of this and let's pray. Pray that the Father will show, reveal to us our demons that we need to be have, to have expelled from our souls. And that we will be freed from all the works of the devil. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray that you reveal to us all the different demons that come in different shapes and sizes. Our familiar spirits, I pray that they will all be expelled. They will all be exposed. They will all come to nothing. They will all be powerless in us against Christ. Because we will submit to you, Christ, and give you our entire life. And trust that you will take over residence inside of our soul. And that we want to open ourselves up and clean up our apartment 
and give you all the room you need. We want, Christ, we want you to search our houses, search our closets, search under our bed, search everywhere in our soul, and move all your stuff in. Live inside of us and kick all the demons out. The demons need to be homeless, homeless wanderers and vagabonds, wandering around in dry places, not finding a home. That's the goal. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.